So in the Bluffton app, we can actually use Runga-Kutta 4 to show similar approximations as we did for Euler's method. Now by default, this is set to RK4. Remember that to adjust your ODE, your differential equation, you need to click on the ODE box. I like to set it to d, y, dt since we're naturally using those variables. And, and let's just make up an equation. Let's say we have 0 0.2 minus 3t plus y. All right, there we go. Press Enter. Make sure that loads properly and it reflects the equation we want. And then uh, you can click on here and generate the solution trajectory. Uh, or you can come over to initial points, clear all curves, and in here enter your initial ty, so let's say we want 0, 2. Press Submit, it'll sketch that curve out. If we don't like the window, we can uh, come over here and select on our uh, graph itself this little gearbox, press that, and we'll change t to say 0 to 4. Then I probably want to go a little higher on the y. Uh, maybe I'll go 0 to, to uh, 5. We'll try and see. That looks pretty good. And maybe I'll go 0 to 3 uh, just to get that window a little cleaner. So there we go. There's our, our graph. And now we want to... Right now we are actually using RK4 for this approximation. Uh, but again, by default, if you click on table, you can see that table. And once again, depending on how far your T goes out, uh, in this case, it does go up to three. But if you change your step size to be small, I think it'll only do about a thousand iterations. So if you set it way too small, it's only going to, you know, it's going to time out by the time it actually gets to some small value, in this case, 0 0.0033. So step size of 0 0.1 is good. And, and again, this is just a tool. There are other better ways to do this, but we get the visual and we get the table, which is what I like about it. So our, at time three, our estimate for, for y, according to this, would be negative 4.27. And we can see that if we if we go down to, let's say, negative, negative five. So there's our estimate right there. Uh, we can see that, that point. I'm not sure what they're trying to indicate with the, these big triangles, but I think they're trying to get at some sort of intuition about the slope from one point to the next. So keeping this at about h equals 0 0.1, you'll actually notice there's not going to be a whole lot of change. Uh, so at time 3, negative 4.27, if you change this to 1, you might notice some difference, negative 4.09 versus negative 4.27. So not incredibly big difference. If I go 0 0.01, uh, looks like it still gives me the same table negative four point, yeah, there we go. Sometimes it, it oversteps a little bit. So just you know, at time three, it's still negative 4.27. So going from 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 does not make a significant difference. And so leaving this at 0.1 is usually uh, good enough, especially if your time domain is longer than from t equals zero to t equals four. If you're going up to like t equals 20, uh, really small step sizes would be a little bit problematic in this app. Let's say we went to 0 to 20. And you can see that this thing, uh, the step size of 0 0.01, only takes you to about 3.9. Uh, sometimes that could be just due to the fact that the y doesn't go down deep enough. So let's change this like negative 100, uh, negative. So yeah, that seems to fix the problem. It looks like uh, you need to actually have what, whatever points you want to see in your table looks like you actually have to have uh, in the graph. But like I said, s keeping the step size of that point, point 0.1 is usually pretty good. And you can actually plot multiple initial conditions on here if you wanted to compare them and just from the initial point drop-down that appears, select the, the table that you want to view. Important note, because if you have multiple curves, you might be looking at the wrong table. So that's how we could do RK4 uh, using the Bluffton app.